Hello everyone. In this video, we will introduce how to use the BPS. What is BPS? It's box chip programming software. Uh, it's used for box chip terminals programming. You can download it from our website, the BPS page. Download from here. Download and uh, open the zip file it will be like this and you can open the folder and this is a bps button let's open it now let's connect your terminal through the type c data cable with your picture And the BPS will detect the device automatically by showing the IMEN information on the left top corner. If the BPS didn't detect it, please reconnect your device. Firstly, you should choose the right frequency from the information page of your device. And then you can start your programming. In general settings, you can change your local ID and the hang time. You can lower down. And the time out of transmit, you can change it also according to your need. And uh, from here, you can set a password so that end users cannot re reveal or change your data in your terminal and uh, from here you can choose your text message format here is the features control you can choose what you need here And for the contacts, receive group lists and channels, you can click mouse right to add, delete, or rename your contact information. And uh, here is the security. You can choose uh, ARC4 and AS128 and uh, 256. Here is the uh, emergency. You can choose the type and the mode you need. This is for location you need. After all these settings finished, you can click the right button to input all your data in the terminal software. And after successful the software will start automatically. Channel 1. If you want to save your configured information, please click Save Eyes and uh, save your configure in your computer and you can open it to check again. Another important thing is if you do factory reset, you need to reinstall the APK. But before install the APK, you must write because the APK needs the DMR information for starting. When installed successfully, the APK will start automatically. Thank you.